What's up guys this is Bharat here welcome back to another video in this video let's take a look at all the features in detail on the eCam app for the Xiaomi e camera currently it is available for Android and iOS devices download it from the link in the description down below and let's get to it After installing the app click on this camera icon and connect your eCam by holding the Wi-Fi button and double tapping it randomly until it gets connected once you're connected, it will jump to the default mode. There are six different modes. Let's see each one of them. You have normal photo mode with 16 megapixel stills. Next, the timer mode, which has three, five, 10 and 15 second timers that you can set. Next is the time-lapse photo mode, which has incremental of 0.5, 1, 2, 5, 10, 30 and 60 second interval between each photo to create a photo time-lapse. Next, you have the burst mode which has incremental of 3, 5 and 7 pictures per second and also 7 pictures for 2 second interval. Then you have a normal video mode and finally a video time lapse as well with the same intervals. What this does is it stitches into a video automatically in the camera instead of any need of post processing. Going into the settings, you will find at first the quality of video. You can choose high, normal and low depending on the shot you're composing. Next is a timestamp option. You can set it to off, date, time or date and time. Next is the resolution of the video. You can choose from all these resolutions on the camera. Next you can choose the NTSC or PAL standard video. Then metering mode. You get spot center weighted and frame average metering options. Next is the photo resolution. You get 16, 13, 12, 8 and 5 megapixel option. Next, you can choose the default photo mode. You can choose between normal, timer, time lapse and burst mode in this. Next, you can choose the default mode at startup between photo and video. Next is the time step on photo. Same options from before. Next are camera settings. You can choose preview of the frame on device, auto low light, loop recording, which allow you to loop the video based on the time you set and lens rectification option. Also, there is option to turn on Wi-Fi with the device. AV output also is there when you are connected through HDMI port. Video rotate lets you rotate the video if you are shooting upside down. Emergency backup lets you backup all the data from your SD card to your device. You can unlink all Bluetooth controllers by choosing this. You can also set the buzzer volume to low, mid and high. Next is Wi-Fi settings where you can have a password. Next you have the LED mode, you can choose to enable all, disable all or only capture light on. Next you can sync camera clock to the connected device clock. Next is the auto power off on idle of 3, 5 and 10 minutes interval. Then you have all the device properties like model number, serial number, firmware version, SD card data and format options. And also you have a find camera option which allows you to get the camera to beep if it's in range. And lastly, option is to restore all these settings to factory. So that's it for this video guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, subscribe for more such informative videos and stay tuned. This is Bharat here, signing off. Yeah.